As we continue on with our primary source review for period 9, today we're going to be tackling American and regional culture for our theme. And I do have to warn you that this primary source document might actually offend some people. Um, this is a document by Jerry Falwell, and it's titled The Homosexual Revolution. It's from 1981. So I'll read it and then you'll see why some people might find this offensive in the way that he talks negatively about the gay population of the United States. He starts with, With God as my witness, I pledge that I'll continue to expose the sin of homosexuality to the people of this nation. I believe that the mass homosexual revolution is always a symptom of a nation coming under the judgment of God. Recently, 250,000 homosexuals marched in the streets of San Francisco. Several weeks ago, 75,000 more were marching in the streets of Los Angeles. Homosexuals are on the march in this country. Please remember that homosexuals do not reproduce. They recruit. And many of them are out after my children and your children. You may be sure militant gays are doing everything they can to silence me. So before we start breaking this down, let's go through the theme that we're looking at, American and regional culture. The College Board explains this theme as focusing on how and why national, regional, and group cultures developed and changed as well as how culture has shaped government policy and the economy. So a little background on Jerry Falwell. He was a Southern Baptist preacher that gained a lot of popularity in historical period seven as a televangelist. And he's going to influence government and politics because he's going to create the group The Moral Majority, which is donating money to Republican candidates across the country. So you can see very much how his religious views are shaping his views on sexual preference and homosexuality. Let's look at the attribution. In his Homosexual Revolution letter, Jerry Falwell warns his conservative supporters about the rising gay pride movement as a danger to their families and children. For historical situation, we're going to draw on past knowledge from period 7. Despite the pride movements beginning in 1969 after the Stonewall Inn riots, homosexuality was still misunderstood and taboo in the 1980s. The conservative movement and leaders like Falwell framed homosexuality as a danger for society. For the audience, Falwell is speaking directly to his supporters, other conservatives like him. So Falwell's audience would have been his conservative supporters and donors to his moral majority. He used these messages to raise money to fund conservative politicians in races against vulnerable liberal seats in government. So one of the strategies you will see in politics is using fear amongst your own supporters because that's going to really mobilize people to go out, um, donate money, vote against certain candidates. His purpose, Falwell's purpose is to spread fear of the pride movement and anyone who may be gay in America. Fostering this fear made conservatives more likely to participate in politics by voting or donating to campaigns. So again, you see we have identified the purpose and then in the second sentence, we're talking about how that purpose is going to influence the things that he says in the letter or the ways in which he says them. And then finally, for our perspective, Jerry Falwell was a Southern Baptist minister who gained fame as a televangelist. As a prominent member of the conservative movement and influential political donor, he looked to frame social issues as political issues, as he does here with sexual preference. So again, one last time, we're identifying something about his identity. He's a Baptist minister, again famed as a televangelist, he's a prominent member of the conservative movement, and then we're going to use that information to analyze how that's affecting the things that are being said in his document. All right, well, thank you for coming around for this primary source review. We still got, I think, one more in period nine, so I will see you then.